of all these crazy stains. A little staining here. I'm gonna show you my first little test section. Check it out, look how clean that looks. So I already have the Terminator laid down. I already kind of massaged that in with my hand. I gave the Terminator a few minutes to kind of do its thing. So I'm going to show you guys a technique that we do. So it only has a few sprays of Terminator. We let it sit, let it do its thing. We blew it out with air first to make sure that there's no residual dirt that's going to be coming up as we do this carpet cleaning. So I'm going to hit it with a few sprays of my PNS Carpet Bomber. So the first one was Terminator, second one Carpet Bomber. Now I'm going to go through my drill. Now I'm going to go through with the grimy towel and remove all the dirt that's been surfaced. Just look at that. Look at that amount of dirt that's been surfaced. So when you see those guys in there with all the extractors and all that gunk is being pulled up through the extractor after they've already laid down a bunch of water, all they're pulling up is this stuff. That stuff shouldn't even be running through their extractor. They should be wiping the surface prior to any kind of extraction or steaming. Otherwise, you're just steaming or extracting all that, all that gunk again. So again, I'm gonna do a little, another little section. We're not soaking down the area. Like you see those guys with the pump sprayer, we're not soaking down the area, we're not getting the foam. We're not getting the foam soaked. We're getting the surface. We're getting all the dirt and all the stain surfaced and then we're wiping up because that's where all the dirt and the grime is. Check it out. And this is just the first round, so we'll do a couple rounds and then we're pretty much good. That's how you remove stains without getting the, the foam soaked and compromising the uh, integrity of the structure of the seed itself. Also, we're reducing the risk of any kind of mildew growth beneath the surface of this material. Um, we're not getting anything soaked, we're not getting anything wet. This is a very effective way to remove stains. This is a proper way to lift and remove stains. Um, remember, when you guys are doing stain removal on upholstered seats, moisture is the enemy. But in comparison to what it was before, man, whole lot better. I just wanted to show you guys after the first pass, all the stuff that came up. Once it's surfaced, Look at all this. Look at all this grime that surface. All this would have ran through your extractor. Uh, when guys try to steam stuff and you try to steam right away, all you're doing is steaming on top of a layer of grime, grease, and oil. Before you get the soiling loosened up on the fabric, if you're just steaming straight on top, all you're doing is steaming and breaking down basically like hardened oil and grease. So you can do that to kind of start to break up things on the surface to loosen stuff up but you have to do the brush process and you have to do the uh, surfacing process and then you have to remove it as it's on the surface you can't give it time to go back into the seat or the material itself so you can get these results very easily guys and we still have to do a steaming process on this so of course this is you know this car is over 25 years old uh, there's going to be some stains that are not going to be able to be removed but for the most part we're using you know we're using good technique we have a good understanding of the chemistry we're using we understand the materials that we're using and we understand the materials that we're working on so that's all key to getting good results easy fast results this took me about five minutes here guys first round that's what we started with remember it looked like that we started with the Terminator, we went to the carpet bomber, and then we will finish up with the finisher and the results. The results speak for themselves. 